The newest official member of the Avengers, Spider-Man. <laughs>
Iron Man tells him that it is for Peter to document his adventures and days. Peter grins widely and moves to hug Iron Man, who does not only not stop him, but hugs him back. Peter asks if he can start filming now, and Iron Man nods. Peter smiles at the camera and says that today is the day he has been introduced as an Avenger, while Iron Man inputs his opinions whenever he can. Soon enough, they reach Peter's home. Iron Man tells Peter that he can call either him or Happy if he needs help and that he wishes Peter the best. Peter thanks Iron Man profusely and hugs him again, unable to believe that Iron Man is actually letting him hug him. Peter steps out of the car and Happy and Iron Man drive off. Taking in a deep breath, Peter enters the home. May is already waiting for him behind the door, arms crossed and foot tapping. She shoots an angry look at Peter and demands, Winnie would have told her that he was Spider-Man. Peter replies with an apologetic smile and he promises that he would have told May as soon as his position as an Avenger was confirmed. May shakes her head but gives Peter a hug. She tells him to be careful on his missions and to not be compromised. Peter promises that he will take care and starts to back away from the hug when May tells her that there is a special guest in his room. Peter's eyebrows shoot up as he walks past her and pushes the door to his room open. Sitting on his bed is none other than Ned, who gives him the widest grin. Peter smiles back and tells Ned that he did it. Ned replies by saying that he cannot wait to see Flash's reaction to the news. Peter grins and agrees. Ned starts asking if Peter could teach him how to make spiderweb fluid or teach him to shoot webs or even try on his suit. Peter laughs and says, next time, he might show Ned a thing or two even though he probably never will. Ned throws Peter his phone, which he catches and he sees that his name is all over the news as the newest Avenger, Spider-Man. Peter's heart is beating incredibly quickly, and he cannot believe that he is now nationally, maybe even internationally, known as Spider-Man. He looks at Ned, who tells him that he will always see him as Peter, his friend, and that he cannot wait to build the Death Star with him as soon as he's not running around saving the world. Peter laughs at this and tells Ned that he has somewhere to go. Peter puts on one of his older suits, in fact, his first suit ever that he made for himself, and goes out of the house. He climbs onto rooftops and buildings until he is finally overlooking the city. He inhales the city air and plants his hands on his hips. He still cannot believe the events of today, and he realizes that Iron Man was right. He should have started small before going out to defeat terrible villains, but he still went for it. Although Peter is uncertain and uneasy about the fact that he has been trusted with the role as an Avenger, he realizes that Iron Man would never have given him this opportunity if Iron Man felt like he was not ready enough. This thought made Peter less worried about himself and his abilities to protect his neighborhood and world as his friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. And there we have it! What would have happened had Peter's identity been revealed? Once again, this is purely fan fiction and is not what happened in the Marvel Cinematic Universe where Spider-Man actually declined the offer. Well, that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below your thoughts on this scenario or what you think would have happened. Until then, take care and stay safe.